From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. Kwakwani Town is located deep in the heart of Guyana's timber region. Getting there is a day-long boat ride down the Burbese River. Loggers work in extremely isolated areas, separated from their families for extended periods of time. Hours are long and recreation is limited to a basketball game or a night in the local bar where the loggers' activities can increase their risk of getting HIV. Carlon Kalswi has been working as a logger for over five years. He's received education about HIV and AIDS, but is not yet aware of his status. Well, I'm not really scared of being HIV positive, but if I got it, I wouldn't be comfortable with myself and our own friends. In Guyana, 80% of HIV infections strike people aged between 20 and 49. The International Labour Organization is partnering with the government, employers and workers' organizations to develop workplace prevention programs on HIV and AIDS. Sean Wilson is the national project coordinator. They've got peer educators trained, they've got people who've been trained in peer counseling, and I think it augurs well for the future for our country in, in responding to HIV and AIDS in the workplace. HIV counselling and testing services are provided for free in the country, but reaching the loggers working deep in the forest is no easy task. Many loggers have a poor understanding of the disease. They fear the stigma and discrimination that could come from knowing their status. I wouldn't think that the boss would be comfortable around me, so I feel I might lose my job. Employers have also been sensitized to avoid discrimination on the basis of the real or perceived HIV status of workers. Court Simeon is one of them. Being HIV positive won't prevent anybody from working with me. HIV infections in Guyana are declining as the prevention and treatment campaign gathers pace. The workplace programs have reached not only workers and their families, but also the clients of sex workers and the larger community. Manzua Nadir is the Minister for Labour. Uh, these partnerships have certainly been invaluable to Guyana. They need to, con need to be continued because very um, easily, if we don't continue with the education programmes, the testing programmes, the programmes that encourage uh, safe lifestyles, then there is a great chance that you can see a mushrooming once again of the prevalence in our society. Guyana is proof that strong partnerships among governments, employers and workers are key to a winning strategy for HIV AIDS prevention. This report was produced by Karen Nate Sekiguchi for the United Nations.